I'm going to show you a very effective hybrid technique using uh, Tulsa Dense Supply Vortex files and GTX instruments. This is a really tight mesial uh, buccal canal in the lower molar. Uh, we have the buccal canal on the right. Uh, this is the first instrument I've had in the root canal. Okay, I haven't used 8s, 10s, 15s. The 1506 Vortex file behaves in a truly amazing way. Um, I've found that they will cut to length as the first negotiating file in probably 70% of the cases. And in the rest, uh, I bring in an 08K file. If I can't get to length with the Vortex instruments, bring in a K file and uh, I'm there. That was the 1504. You're going to use both of these at a very low torque setting. Um, having a 1504 to length should allow the 1506 there. And uh, I like this file because it's very, very sharp, but the uh, tip is so small that it's flexible and less likely to transport. I want to do the rough cut with this razor file and then follow up with a GTX file. Um, things happen pretty quickly. Here's a 15K file slipping through the end of the root canal. Here's a 20. It slips past the mesial buccal cuss tip. Here's a 30. It's binding about a millimeter short. So um, I'm going to balance force this little guy to length. I just need to cut a millimeter and a half or so. This will make it easier for me to get my single GTX file to uh, finish the shape. So we know the tip diameter is a 30. I'm going to bring a 3006 GTX file in at 300 RPM with a torque limit of about 350. And because the canal's been prepared by the negotiating instruments and the number 30K file, that little guy cuts right to length. And that ideal outcome was accomplished with two rotary negotiating instruments, the Vortex 1506, 1504, and a single 3006 GTX file. We can see the advantage of the hybrid technique in using the very sharp blades to rough cut the prep and finishing with safe landed blades.